Welcome back to News 8 at 11. We are nice and dry in Goose Lake, Iowa, Northeast High School. Of course, a big Friday of high school football. We mentioned we are dry. That's a good thing. Up in the private box and joined now by the athletic director here at Northeast, uh, Troy Hansen. Um, just what is a day like today when you deal with weather and craziness? And I know you guys have already got a little schedule change already. So what... It's not an easy day. The weather guy, you're not a weather guys fan today either, are you? No, no not at all. <laughs> no offense, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no offense. No, uh, actually, you know, an event like this, when we have some weather issues, we try to do things as early as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, so yesterday, you know, working with our opponent and their athletic director, uh, we actually kind of made the call yesterday to move our kickoff for our varsity game up to, to 5.30 tonight just to kind of beat any any thunder and lightning because we don't want to be delayed and be here all night long. Sure. So. Just kind of getting it out of the way if we do have severe weather that comes through. Yeah. But then you've got the referees and everything. So it adds some undue, I guess, problems for you a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it, it does, you know, just go through your checklist and make sure you got your officials notified, your event staff, um, you know, throw a wrinkle into it tonight. Unfortunately, it was going to be our senior night. Uh, so our seniors, unfortunately, won't get recognized tonight, but we're working on details to be able to do that for our fall seniors. Uh, and then it was also our little cheer night too. Ah. So, um, but we were able to kind of finagle the schedule a little bit. We moved them inside. But you're right; it is it is a kind of an undertaking when you when you make a major change like this due to weather. Weather aside, this is a, a pretty special community up here. And you look at the field. We'll talk about that more in a second. But the people, the atmosphere, it, it's what small town high school football is. What makes it special up here in Goose Lake? You know, I, I think it's community. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our community is so dedicated to supporting our, our athletics, you know, from football all the way to our golf teams uh, and also on our fine arts side. Uh, we couldn't do it if it wasn't for our community and the support that we get from them. So uh, huge shout out to, to what our community does for us. And this is week eight, so this means last game of the regular season for you guys because you're in, the, you're in a position right now that you're going to be in the playoffs, but it's a big one tonight against Anamosa. A win could put you higher in the district, which would mean a better playoff game. Yeah, exactly. You know, So tonight is the difference between a, a three seed and a four seed uh, in the playoffs. Pairings will come out Saturday, probably around noon. Um, but yeah, you're right. If we can get that three seed with a win tonight, uh, just means shorter travel in, a, in an opponent that is uh, going to be probably, you know, obviously maybe the two seed in another district. Um, a lot of talk recently has been about fields and turf and grass and all that kind of stuff. And in the Metro Quad Cities, most of the fields are, are turf, not up here in Northeast. And what you guys do is amazing. Corey had a story earlier this, uh, this week. We'll, we'll show it to you later on here in this newscast as well. But the Sodfather does some amazing things. How special does that make an already special atmosphere when it comes to Friday nights? Yeah, it is. You know, you say the word turf, uh, turf fields, and that's a four-letter word for, for, <laughs> for Sean. But uh, he does a great work of, of having a natural playing surface that is safe for kids, um, you know, competition, and, and, and a great, you know, product overall. So uh, our kids thoroughly love it. You know, mm -hmm. they enjoy playing on that, and they enjoy seeing what Sean does next. Uh, they take a lot of pride in what he, his work does. And, yeah. and same with our community. They, they support everything that he does also. And he's a Northeast grad, obviously, and 10, I guess 13 years ago when he took, oh, I guess it was 10 years ago, 2013, when he took this job over, the fields weren't like this. You added a baseball, you added a softball field, and there was a need for what he does, wasn't there? Exactly. I mean, uh, you know, once again, the, the district and the community made a commitment to making facilities improvement, and uh, we needed somebody who was a professional in that, and, and that was Sean, fortunate for us with a, being a graduate. and. Uh, coming back home and, and taking care of our facilities with the upgrades that we made. Well, one more for you. We, we, we know your Fridays are busy. Our Fridays are usually busy. When we get done, we kind of like exhale and, and go over it. And, and it's kind of, you look back and it's, it's busy, but it's fun. Is that the way it is with you, like the craziness of scheduling and all this kind of stuff? Saturdays are probably a little more chill for you, but it, it's got to be rewarding and, and, and satisfying at the same time. Yeah, it is. You know, it, it is kind of chaotic, you know, even on a, on a normal Friday night with weather not giving us any challenges or extra yeah. events. But, you know, it, it's fun. It's a great challenge. 
Uh, and, you know, it does mean something to me when I can look back Saturday morning and say, you know, hey, we put on a really good event for yeah. our kids and for our community. It is a special community up here at, North, at Northeast High School, Goose Lake, Iowa. Of course, we'll have that game, Anamosa and Northeast, all part of the score coming up tonight on WQAD. And, of course, we have a lot of football on the score. We also have a lot of food and a lot of fun. We've introduced our guest grillers each and every week. This week, we're doing a little homecoming at WQAD. Here's our guest griller this week. Take a listen. So Matt Randazzo tells me that it's going to be homecoming night this week on The Score. It's a WQAD homecoming, and so he's invited his very favorite News 8 has-been to join him as the guest griller this week. I'm Denise Sinitka, and I will be on the grill, allegedly, tomorrow night on The Score. And because every homecoming needs a queen, I am bringing a very special guest. This is a major guest. Not a minor guest, but a major guest. And she is bringing a family recipe from her people east of the Quad Cities. And um, we'll see you all tomorrow. Of course, that is the one and only Denise Nick coming back to WQAD, joining us on the grill, bringing a, a guest, a, a homecoming queen. I'm intrigued, Cuff. She gave some clues. It's not a major guest. It's a major guest, not a minor guest. Yeah. And the food, I'm, the hot dogs tonight, I yeah. think, is what I, they said. And we'll see. We'll figure out what goes on. So excited to welcome Denise and company back to the grill. Hopefully it's dry enough for us out on the patio. A lot to get to tonight on The Score on WQAD. We'll throw it back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you.